Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. It is a well-known fact that the creator, the mastermind behind this game, Suda51, is a massive Batman fan. I just wonder, has Batman influenced him, influenced him in any part of this game whatsoever? Let's find out, shall we? So the damsel's in here. Chicks put out for their rescuers, right? Ah, I guess that's a no. You know, you're lucky I don't have a bondage kick. Definitely not a broad I'd want to hook up with. Don't say that, handsome. Actually, you're just my type. Thanks. But no thanks. You'd be even more dashing if you were writhing in agony. Come closer to me. Huh? Show me your face twisted in pain. My body! Shoving your beam katana right through a lady's stomach is not a way to make them happy, guys. Don't do it on a first date, they will not be pleased. Anyway, say hello to Chloe Walsh, and she is kind of like Poison Ivy of the Batman fame. She likes to spray the poison around, she's got this red hair going on, she has Ivy tattoos going all over her arms. I see it, guys, you know, some Batman nerd will probably tell me she's nothing like Poison Ivy, you fool! Um, I see it, you know, it's kind of tenuous, but what do you know? But just in that small introduction by me, she's already lost a quarter of her health. She is one of the most fragile characters in the game. Use the peony, you will not be disappointed. Strong weapon, weak lady equals a very quick fight. She has pretty much two attacks. You will see that she is spraying green poison mist. If we run into that, well, you'll find out in a second. We're just going to do a bit of a wrestling move here. Backdrop, bang, right on her neck. You gotta love it. I'm now poisoned. Oh, run away, Travis. Travis, run away, man. Run away, man. Stab her. Oh, wait, no, now she's on us. Oh. Oh, oh wait, there she goes. Yes, she actually jumps on us when we're poisoned. Uh, and you know, that's not a good thing. It's one of her attacks. Her second attack, you've just seen it. She finds black weirdness across the floor and that's actually quite painful. But as we get into an ecstasy mode, she is actually almost dead. Can you believe it guys? What a short video. Cutscene time. Sylvia, you're such a troll. Hey Travis, I'm here to save the day. Quick, jump and I will catch you. Oh, okay. Oh, running, running, jump. Uh, wait, no, you're going to drown. Oh, well, bye-bye, Travis. Ah. 
Oh, blows in my kiss. <laughs> oh, God, I hate you so much, but I love you so much. I, I don't know. You, you make me feel feelings I've never felt before, Sylvia. But as ever, we've just killed someone. And after we've just killed someone, we need to go to the toilets, but not on camera, Travis. It's rude to go to the toilets on camera. People don't want to see your ass. We need a bit another cutscene, guys. We need another one. So let's do this right now. I have set up the next rank fight. Things are a little different this time around. Anyway, come to my office. Don't build things up. Just tell me already. Oh, get your dumb ass to my office now. Gotcha. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Travis, you never catch a break. She's so angry. She loves him, really. But you notice, in the background, hey, look, a giant robot. And hey, it's, it's, it's Glastonbury. Over there, that's one of the gifts that you can get from the prison, is that you can actually see Santa Death Parade in the other corner. However, I thought to myself, I killed her far too quickly. So, so what do I do? I can't end the video after five minutes. A five-minute video, there would be riots on Upstairs channel we can't do that so I thought to myself I know why don't I just play with Jean for a bit which is all nice and good you can listen to the nice pretty music see the cute little Jean play with a little toy thingamabobber I don't know really but my thoughts and feelings about that fight Chloe Walsh is quite a nice character in, in a way she's she's kind of cool she she matches the Akashic point Theme. The Akashic points are supposed to be spooky. Matt Helms was the undead. That's kind of spooky. Job done, Suda. Well done. But then we come to Chloe Walsh. A spooky prison, which is ruins by day and a prison by night. Yeah, that's pretty creepy as well. And then we get to Chloe Walsh. And that, yeah, she's pretty creepy as well. But the fight itself is just a little underwhelming, don't you think? Probably the, the three-minute fight probably gave that away. May I remind you I am doing this on medium difficulty, not easy. So three minutes, a little bit too short. You gotta think, who would we be facing on No More Heroes 1 at this point in the, ge the, point of the game? Probably Destroy Man. Destroy Man is a terribly difficult fight in the first one. And yet we get Chloe Walsh right now, who is just so simple. I don't quite get it really. Um, but she's an interesting character, she's interesting enough. It was quite shocking to hear that Travis Touchdown would actually turn her down. She's an attractive young lady, don't you think? Although she kind of spits poison, which fails to, you know, melt the floor. I, I, didn't, I don't really get that part of the cutscene. She spits poison on the metal floor. You expect the poison to melt the metal, but it does nothing. It's like, it, it might as well just be saliva. It might as well just be a normal body fluid. You know, Travis Touchdown could hook up with her. That. He's not a proud man. He'll go with anybody. <laughs> but we're finishing up with Jean here. We're just going to stroke the kitty right there. Going to stroke the kitty. How do you like that kitty? It still looks like a dead raccoon though, doesn't it? It's like... Hey, Jean, wake up! Are you alive, Jean? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move the analog stick until you wake up, Jean. You can't die on me, God, Jean. What will I do without you? You're just so fat and lovely. <laughs> oh, what am I on about? Who knows? Who knows? But. Jean does have a point, remember. When we get her down to a specific weight, we actually get a prize. I will show Jean again when we actually get them down to All the specific done. weight, and I will show you what the prize is as well. You're probably thinking, a cat that gives a prize? I know it's crazy, isn't it? But anyway, I'm running out of things to do. There's nothing else to do, so I'm going to end it here. So, we just killed a psycho witch. Yes, a psychotic witch who loved us, but who doesn't love us, eh? What are we going to do in the next episode? Well, you'll find out next time on Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggles. See you later, guys.